All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about saddle hunting and stand hunting. Um, I'm going to go over why I like to saddle hunt and why I like to use a stand in some situations. I'm going to walk you through my setup for saddle hunting and how I go about getting up a tree and getting set up and using a saddle versus using using a stand. So. What I usually do, if I'm hunting a piece of private ground where I know I'm going to be hunting a certain tree, uh, sometimes I'll hang a stand. If I'm hunting a food plot or over bait, I will hunt a stand versus a saddle for the simple reason that if I'm hunting a food plot, I don't want to go in before dark on the edge of a plot or a field fiddle around, hang sticks in a tree, climb up in the tree, and get my saddle set up. Because anytime during that period from the time I get there to breaking day with the food plot, a deer could come into that plot or skirt the edge of it and bust me during my setup. Same thing as in the evening. Uh, I don't want to get out of a tree right after dark or right at dark with deer potentially in a plot or potentially coming into that plot in the 10 minutes it takes for me to get down and get out. I would rather already have a set there where I can slip in, get in the tree unnoticed, quietly, quickly, and the same thing in the evening. Get out without, you know, bumping deer in the plot or potentially coming into the plot. Uh, it's about getting in and getting out quick and undetected when it comes to bait or a plot. Now, on public land, or even private land if I'm jumping around uh, I'll, I'll use a saddle and what I like to do if I'm going to a piece of public or a piece of property that I've never been to before or not very familiar with basically what I'll do is I will bring a set of sticks three long wolf sticks and um, I'll do my scouting and if I find a spot, I'll go ahead and hang the sticks, or if it's a spot maybe I've hunted before that I think I want to hunt again, I may go ahead and hang my sticks and then jet out. I won't use my tethered one sticks or hang my platform or anything because I want that to be with me. So for instance, what I'll do is I'll go in, I may scout and hang a couple sets of sticks and then come back and say it's, uh, noon or two o'clock or whatever and I still have a place I want to scout then I'll take my tethered one sticks platform and my saddle and I'll go scout if I walk up on some really hot sign then I have everything with me I can climb a tree and hunt <clears throat> I don't have to go back to the truck get a stand get a stick set of sticks come back in leaving scent everywhere and get set up I'm there I can hunt it just like that and everybody knows the first time you hunt a buck in an area that's your best time uh, that's why I like saddle hunting. Also, if you're walking a long way, uh, you don't know if you're gonna hunt an area more than once or twice, you got everything with you. It's light, it's containable, you can get up in a tree, get down, and be on your way. Now, this year, I have ordered another platform and another tether rope. So what I'm gonna do is if I find a place and I know I'm going to hunt it, more, hunt it more than that time, that one time, I'm going to leave my sticks, platform, and tree tether in a tree. And then that way, it's there and I have another setup to where if the wind changes or whatever and I want to go hunt somewhere else or make a or scout somewhere else, I'll have everything with me. <clears throat> because what I don't really like doing is say I go in and I find a tree or whatever, I find an area with some hot sign in the evening, and I set up and I want to come back in there that morning. I don't really want to tear all my stuff down and go back in there that morning and have to set it up. So uh, it's, it's just convenient and easier to have everything in the tree waiting for you when you come. That way the next morning you don't have to fiddle with all that set up. But you never know. The wind may change that night. Weather may come in. It may be a good morning spot, not an evening spot, whatever. Then, you got, then I've got an extra platform, extra ropes. And I can go somewhere else and then the next morning come back in, bam them in the tree, 
as quick as I can. I like to try to get in as quick as I can and set up and not be fiddling around with stuff and because I got camera equipment I got to set up too. So that's what I like about saddle hunting versus what I like about stand hunting. I like both of them equally. The saddle is just more convenient for running and gunning public land, out of state, what have you, and uh, getting on new sign quick and easy. A stand is nice because it's there, you can hunt it, and uh, you don't have to worry about setting up and tearing down. So, having said that, I'm going to get into my saddle setup, my saddle setup, how I set up, climb a tree, you know. Kind of go over everything with you i probably missed some stuff because it's a lot going on and it's just hard to think about everything maybe you can learn a little bit just see how to do it it may interest you it may not but uh, like i said there's tons of information on youtube about it this is just my setup my take how i do it everybody has a little bit something different they do but uh let's get to it all right so the first thing i do as i walk up to the tree i'm going to lay my bow down with my broad head into the quiver facing me. I'm going to attach my pull up rope there and pull it up. That way your fletchings aren't coming up first and any branches or twigs or whatnot that's in a way doesn't catch on your fletchings. Then I'm going to take my pack off, take my saddle plat my platform off and my sticks off and put my backpack back on. Then I'll get ready to attach my first stick. Now I have three sticks today. The bottom two has aiders on it because I can't get very high on this tree. I'm, I'm in my yard. Sometimes I carry an extra stick. Uh, it's a leverage stick with a three-step aider, so that'll make four sticks because I don't have a fourth tethered stick. And I'll, uh, if I need to get higher, I'll bring four of those sticks. Today I just have three tethered one sticks. I go ahead and get my second stick and I'll hook them on the side of my saddle right here. As you can see, I've made these hooks. I just bought some flat aluminum at the hardware store, cut it, kind of grinded them off, rounded them off, and bent them so they'll sit in the loops on my saddle. The center one, you'll see me, I'll, I'll hang my uh, platform on. I'll dig in and get into my First step, then I'll hook my linesman's belt on and uh, hook my second stick up here. It, it also has an aider on it. I have one of these Amsteel aiders that is a three-step aider that I will use on the leverage stick if I need four sticks or I can also take it off and put it on my bottom tethered stick if I want to. I just don't really care for it on the tethered stick, on the tethered one stick because uh, the standoffs are kind of close to the tree and it, it kind of makes it hard to get a big boot in, especially when you got a lot of clothes on, so I, I'd rather just use the single-step aiders. See, I dig my toe into the tree, put my foot in the aider, dig my toe into the tree. I got to go around a limb here with my lineman's belt. Notice I got one foot on one step and a foot in my aider. If something happens to one of those sticks while well, I got my lineman's not unattached, I'm standing on two different things. So if one breaks, the other one's going to, you know, be attached. And then here I'll take my third stick off. and go ahead and attach it. My pull-up rope is a uh, Doyle's gear hoist, hoist that's in my in my sys hauler on my right side. I have a hole drilled in the bottom of that pouch with a grommet around it and that hoist stays there in the bottom of my pouch. For those of you that are unfamiliar with a Doyle's gear hoist, it's just a self-reeling 
rope so you don't have to roll your rope up by yourself. And here I'll set my third stick, take my platform off from behind me. This is a little piece of bungee that I have fastened to the end of my strap, which just, which just makes it easy to wrap my strap around the platform and stretch it and hook it up. Easy for transportation and, and wrapping that strap up, keeping it wrapped. I usually like to set my platform just above my stick to the left side, but it doesn't always work out that way. Every situation and tree is different. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to set it here. This is a pine tree, so it's aggravating. I usually don't climb pine trees unless I just have to. But you cinch your strap tight, this cam buckle tight, and you can kind of pull up on this platform and then push down and then cam it over and it locks. It's pretty dead solid once you get it locked in good. If you notice here, I attached my tether, tree tether first. And then I got one foot on my stick, one, one foot on my platform move my tether up. I still got my linesman's hooked up at this point. So if the platform breaks, I got a foot on the stick. If the stick breaks, I got a foot on the platform. Plus I'm clipped in on my tether and my linesman's. Once I step up into the platform, I can take my linesman's belt off. I'm closing the carabiner. I'm clipped in to my tree tether. My tether is clipped into my bridge. And I'll close that carabiner and then I'll cinch up my tree tether and put a little distribute a little weight on my tether to make sure I'm clipped in and everything's solid before I take the linesman off and before I take a foot off a step and put my weight onto the platform. So now I'm clamped in, I got all my weight on, I can step up into my platform and take my linesman's belt off. I get my gear strap cinched in around the tree. I'll take my backpack off. And I'm going to take this carabiner and I'm going to put it through two loops just in case one breaks or the threads break on one loop. I'll be through another one. The last thing I want is my backpack falling to the ground. And I'll put it on my right side right there, right up against the tree. And then I'll pull my bow up. <clears throat> You can see that grommet in the bottom, that my string goes into that Doyle's gear hoist and just reels itself up. So I don't have a string kinked up or I don't have to roll it up. It's done with. It takes a few minutes and a little bit of fidget factor out of my setup time. Not as light as just a string, just a pull up rope, but to me it's, it's worth it. Now I have another piece of this flat aluminum that I made a, a bow hanger and it just hangs in that that gear hanger and I'll clip my uh, I'll clip my quiver into that carabiner and that's pretty much it if I want to take my knee pad out I can pull it out of the back of my my uh, backpack and hook it up and I am pretty much ready to hunt. Guys, this is just my way and my setup. There are many, many variables to saddle hunting. This is just the way I do it. Things may change before the fall. I may change a few pieces of gear. Who knows, it's, it's a constant evolving thing, but this is how I hunted in uh, this past season. Maybe you'll gather a little information f with this. So uh, if you see something you think I should do a little better or something that would in improve my setup time and uh, my fiddle factor, uh, let me know. Leave a comment. I'm constantly learning about this, and and it, it's always a uh, 
you know, it's always a puzzle just trying to get my setup down pat quicker and just more practical and easier and get in and get out as fast as I can and quiet as I can situation. So any advice is greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something good. Maybe you learned something bad. I don't know, but uh, this is this is my setup and this is how I saddle hunt. Thanks for watching.